I have another headlamp I want to share with you today. This time it is the Thrower from Thrunight. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. Before we begin, I just want to thank Thrunight for sending this light to me so that I could share it with you. So as always, we'll go down to my tabletop. I'm going to go over the physical and performance specifications for this light. Of course, I'll go over the modes of operation. I'm also going to go over another flashlight or headlamp from Thrunight that has a great deal of similarities as well as differences. And then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. So before I go over the performance and physical specifications for the through night thrower, I thought I would show you what it came with. Now you can see right off the top that I took the headlamp strap off. This will do a couple of things. It allow me to give you a closer look at the light without the strap. We'll talk about the strap separately, but there's another reason I'll share with you in a moment. So here is the strap. And as I mentioned, I'll talk more about the strap in a minute. It's a really quite a nice strap. We'll put that aside. Also, let's bring out the box. So here is the box that the head lamp arrived in simple cardboard box as through night always does the usual through night manual of operations and warranty information well laid out very effective USB type C charging cable a pair of spare o-rings and a spare battery port cover let's put those things aside bring the flashlight back in so why did I leave the strap off of the headlamp well there's a couple things I want to say about it right up front and, and then I'll get into the reason why for uh, removing the headlamp number one the name kind of says it all. This is the through night thrower. And, and based on that, you would gather and you would be correct in saying that this is meant to be a casting light or throwing light, one that sends out a beam a long distance as opposed to a floodlight or area light. And if you take a look at the reflector, I'll see if I can get it to focus in properly. What you can see is that it's very deep in the head of the lamp, which is usual for a throwing light and has a polished reflector as well. So this is meant for casting more of a long distance beam than it is a flood lamp. Now having said that, having used this for some time now, it will do both quite effectively. Yes, it'll cast out a lot longer, a lot further than other lamps of its size, uh, but it will also have sufficient flood for the needs that I would use it in the woods. Now here's what struck me when this arrived. I looked at it and I thought to myself, I think I already have one of these or something that looks very similar. So I went in to my collection of flashlights and lo and behold I do. I have another flashlight or headlamp from through night that has bears a very very similar resemblance. This one is the through night TH30 V2 and I previously reviewed that on my channel so if you're interested in learning more about this light then uh, you can look that up. I can provide a link to it in the video description at the end of the video. So it as I mentioned, has a superficial, at least, appearance between the two lights. You can see some differences in the reflector, and of course that shows that this one is more of a flood lamp than it is a thrower. Uh, the other differences, uh, there's some slight differences in the body, to, not dimensions, they're almost virtually identical, but uh, in just the styling, the knurling, and things like that. You will also notice, and I'll point this out for a reason, that the TH30 comes with a removable two-way pocket clip, and I'll pointed that out for a reason because obviously it did not come with this one. So the more I looked at this light, I said, okay, what's the performance differences? This is where things are really, really different. So the TH30 has a high uh, output in turbo of over 3,300 lumens. And that, that's quite a high turbo uh, put a output as you can imagine. The new one, the thrower, only has a, an output of 1755 lumens. So the TH30 has literally twice the output in turbo that then the thrower does. So I thought, well, what is the advantage? Then I took a look at the website and the advantage is obvious price. Right now, uh, as of today on the Thrunite website, the TH30 is selling at $70 US whereas the thrower is selling at $50 US. So basically you're getting a light much less expensive, but without all the capabilities of the more expensive one and it doesn't have a, a pocket clip. Okay, so let me put the TH30 aside and we'll get back into the video and talk about the specifications for this light. So the weight overall, 
5.6 ounces, 159 grams, and that is with the battery and with the strap. I weighed them both together because, of course, that's the way you're going to use it most of the time. The length, 4.23 inches or 107.5 millimeters. The diameter at the basal, 1.04 inches, 26.5 millimeters, and diameter at the base, 0.9 inches or 23 millimeters. As far as performance specifications for the through night thrower, I think I've already mentioned that in turbo, it has a max output of 1,755 lumens, which will last for 5.5 minutes before it drops down to 373 lumens, lasting for an additional 240 minutes. In high, it starts off at 735 lumens. It will last for 6.5 minutes, and then it will drop down to 395 lumens, lasting an additional 240 minutes. In medium, it has 258 lumens, lasting for 10 hours. Low of 62 lumens, at lasting for 48 hours. Firefly. 0.4 lumens lasting for 39 days. It does also have a SOS mode of 600 lumens, which is rated to last for five hours. It has a throw, and of course, that's one of the key selling points for this light. It has a throw of 323 lumens, which is 26,100 candle power, and that would be at turbo. It is also rated at IPX8 for a waterproof to two meter submersion plus a drop resistance of 1.5 meters. Operation of the Through Night Thrower is simple and very similar to most of the lights from Through Night. It has one large rubber dome button on top that can be operated with either hand while it's on the head strap. And it's just a simple on off button. So if I turn it on right now, I'm in low. If I press and hold the button, it'll cycle up through medium and high and back to low again. If I double tap at any point, it'll go directly into turbo. If the light is turned off and I double tap, it goes directly into turbo. And if I want to access the Firefly mode while the light is turned off, I press and hold the top button and you'll get your 0.4 lumens. Very low, but really quite nice to have when you're in a tent at night. And of course there is SOS, which would be a triple throw. And of course the light does have memory, so the last lumen setting before I turned it off is what comes back on, which is low in this case. All right, let's talk for a minute about the head strap and I'll show you how it's used because it's just simplicity at its best. Nothing fancy about this, just straight up functionality. So let's start by mounting the headlamp in it. So the headlamp strap or the mounting thing uh, is simply a matter of rubber, silicone, not quite sure which, likely silicone, very stretchy, very pliable, easy to move. Slide the light through and there are two shallow grooves on the lights here that these two straps will slide onto. And once you're there, you now can uh, rotate the light in any direction, 360 degrees for that matter, but you know, you're gonna be using about 90 degrees most of the time for operating and it just slides really very nicely. So that's the mounting system. The rest of it is a two part strap or two strap system, one that goes around your head and one that goes over the top. Now you could remove the one that goes over the top, but to be honest, you're gonna to wanna to leave that on. And the reason of course is this has a 2400 milliamp 18650 battery. That's got some weight to it. So this light does have a bit of weight on my forehead. And I find that if I don't have a strap like this on a headlamp with that size battery and weight, then it tends to wanna to bounce if I'm moving around it all. Now, if you're sitting still, it's fine. And if you're just moving uh, very lightly, but if you're hiking actively or running or anything else, you're really gonna want that head strap to balance it off. Now, I know not everybody likes these, but uh, they're functional. And as I said, you could remove it if you want to. They're very comfortable though. The inside is almost, I guess you might call it flocked. It's a kind of a soft material. So when you're wearing it against your forehead, it's not gonna irritate. It's not as if you have the rubber or silicone or whatever it is directly against your forehead. So I think that's quite functional. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications for the through night thrower, there's only one thing left to do, get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the through night thrower headlamp. 
I guess it's also an EDC lamp as well, but primarily designed for worn with the head strap. I'm going to turn it on for its firefly mode. Very low. May show up on the tree beside me. Again, something that you would use inside your tent to preserve as much night vision as possible. Let's turn that off. Turning it on low. Now with this flashlight, the lumen settings are not as high as some of the others, like the one I'll compare it to when we finish going through these settings. But because it is intended to be a thrower, even at this low lumen setting, I'm getting good illumination, good light further down the path. Less flood, more forward light down the path. Let's turn it on, take it up to medium, high. That's a lot of light down the path. And turbo. Outstanding amount of light there. Now, I'm going to turn it off while I dig out my Thrunite TH30 V2. So again, that is the th thrower on high. And you can see again the penetration. I'll turn that one down. Now, this is the TH30. The 3H30 has nowhere near the penetration of the thrower even though it's got much higher lumen settings because this one is all about flood. And I know that's not showing up on the camera because it spreads out to the sides. It doesn't shine anywhere near down the path as much as the thrower does, but it does give me a lot more floodlight than the thrower does. So that's the comparison between the two. Even though the TH30 has higher lumens, it's not intended for throwing like the thrower is. Just before we close this video out, I'd like to go over my thoughts, the pros and cons for the through night thrower. So to start with some of the pros, uh, right up front, it has to be, at least in my opinion, the value you're getting with this light at $20 on average cheaper than the through night VH30 V2. I think you're getting a great deal of light for the money. Now, yes, you're giving up some performance in terms of the maximum output that this light has, but uh, let's be honest here, at least in my opinion, when you're in the woods, 3300 lumens is rarely that important to you. What I prefer to have is a reasonable amount of lumens or lighting and a floodlight and a long battery life. To me, that's more important than the max that we will put out. So that's where this light shines, to excuse the pun. This has good lumen settings, sufficient for the task and longer battery lights uh, or battery life as a result. Now, one of the things I'll say is, while I like the performance and I feel this is a great light for most people, personally, my thoughts on a headlamp is that they should be more oriented to a floodlight. It's rare that I need one that casts a long distance. Uh, the reason for that is most of what I use my, my lamp for is tasks around a campsite. I like to be able to see out further so that I can maneuver and see what things are immediately around me. And I'm not usually in need of something that casts out. Having said that, if I'm hiking through the woods, the fact that this will cast out further than a lot of other headlamps is a real plus. You get to anticipate what's down the trail a little bit further. Even more important, if I was biking, I can see this as being even greater value because of course you're moving faster you need to be see be able to see that much further forward so i think those are the real pluses for this light now there is really only one con that i can think of and that is there's no pocket clip. Now I know you're saving money, or through night is saving money and passing that on to you by not including the pocket clip, but the pocket clip would make this light so much more versatile. It would then, I could easily see, it be using as an EDC light. Now you could put it in your pocket without the pocket clip and you know, it'll work, but it's those pocket clips are really useful for holding it in place, not only in your pocket for a means of carrying it, but they can be placed on a strap, on a backpack, on well, all kinds of things. One thing that is also maybe missing from these things, it's not part of the design, but it would be a nice plus, is a magnetic tail cap stand. Because if you did have that, and that's, by the way, that doesn't exist on the TH30 either, but a magnetic tail cap stand would allow this to stand up and make it more of a work light. So again, you get a little bit more versatility but it does add to the cost, so I recognize that. Now, if you're wondering, I did take the, the pocket clip off of the TH30 and actually a couple of other lights that I have from through night, 
And yes, they do fit on this. So you happen to have maybe a regular flashlight with a pocket clip, but you would like to carry your headlamp as a pocket carry flashlight, there's a good chance that the pocket clip on it will fit on this one as well. Okay, those are my thoughts on the thrower from Thrunite. I'd be interested in hearing what you have to think. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them in the comments section below. I will put what information I have on this light as well as where you can purchase it in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.